Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about split screen on a Mac. I know quite a few people with a Mac that have had issues with this, so I'm going to run through it real quick. So on your Mac OS computer, you need to go to the App Store and go ahead and search Better Snap Tool. One word. First thing that's going to pop up is this. First spot here, it's got the four silver squares, better snap tool, one word. It is $2.99 the last time I checked. It is the best $2.99 you're going to spend on your Mac. Let's go over what you get after you download it. When you download it, you are going to get this settings screen to walk through your preferences for the Better Snap tool. One thing I wanted to point out to make sure that everybody has checked is this Start Better Snap tool every time your Mac starts up. If you do not have this checked, you're going to have to go into the launch pad and launch Better Snap tool every time you turn your computer back on. So I encourage you to have this checked. It'll alleviate a lot of your headaches. As well, you can do left and right splits here, but you could also turn off the corners if you wanted to. So you could, co you could quarter your screen by putting it in one of the corners. Uh, also, when you go into customize, there are a few things you can do. I left the majority of these where they were. Shortcut keys are interesting. You can go through here, and if you want to set up a short key combination, you could have a combination of keyboard buttons to make it full left, full right, top half, bottom half, uh, whatever you want to do within those um, shortcut keys. Then you can go into your snapping area, extras, and about. So main things you need to be aware of, you can turn off the corners if you want to, and you want to make sure that Better Snap Tool turns on every time your Mac starts up. Aside from that, everything else are just small tweaks. If you're a basic user, you're not going to need any of this. So once you've downloaded it, you can open up a window. We're going to open up the YouTube channel here. we got a full window. I can take this window drag it to the side of the screen, and then you get this silhouette of half the screen. Release the button, and now we've gone half screen. For my Zoom friends, if we go and open up Zoom, we create a hypothetical new meeting. It'll pop up on your screen like this. You can go full screen, it pops up, and again, you can grab the top, I put it to the edge of the screen on the left, it's going to go split screen between my Zoom meeting and my browser window. This could also be notes, this could be whatever you would like it to be. For those Zoom users, an important thing to notice is if you open the chat. When you open the chat and you are split screen, it starts to overlap the screen to the right. Now I can click on this and it'll come in front of the chat. I click back on the zoom, it'll bring the chat up again. The reason I bring this up, if I grab the meeting when the chat is open and split screen, then all of a sudden I've got a really tiny zoom window because my chat is taking up half the screen. Easiest way to get around this, you can either close the chat I like to make it a pop out. It pops out. Now you can half screen your Zoom meeting again. And then if you select these three dots on the chat right here, at the very bottom it says merge to meeting window. You click on that and it attaches it back to the window and your Zoom picture is still half your screen. So I hope this helps you out. If you've got any questions, comments, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video and my channel, and I look forward to making more content that is useful for all of you.